So good job, we've got good suspension. The cobbled streets of Guarda, the highest town in Portugal, and the bumpiest. Where's Susan brought me? Tell them where we've brought me. Liddles. Awesome. You had to go to Liddles because it's the highest one in Portugal. Uh, what you got? Apple turnover. Very nice apple turnover. <laughs> Stressed out or what? Susan can't read maps. Can't uh, listen to instructions. Don't blame me over this one, mate. Can't listen to instructions. It was right in front. So we've just been down all these cobbled streets that said um pedestrian blah 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 and all that sort of stuff so we're not sure if we're gonna get into trouble or not but we're leaving guardia and we're heading south because it's too stressful what does she say second exit that Might go round this round roundabout twice because Steve's probably didn't listen to the words that the man. Exit the roundabout. Continue on I think we got away with that. We've been to the highest town and now we're going down again. What are you looking at me for? What's happened to your hair? Why? It looks a bit blowy. Well, we've got the windows open and it's windy up here because we're really high up. Anyway, we've just left Guarda and heading towards the Sierra de Estrella. Estrella? Estrada. 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 I'll put it on the I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I wanted to show you this view. It's beautiful. We've had about a two hour drive from Guarda to this place called Villa Velha de Rodeo. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'll put it on the screen. And we've got this little air. Hot in the shade of the trees. There's a few vans here. Uh, one guy from England by the looks of it. Uh, it's really nice. But let me show you what is just down the corner. You've got this little square here that uh, for some reason smells of fish and then down these steps check this out you've got a restaurant don't know that's open there's sue sitting down there but look at this river how beautiful is this is this a river or a reservoir it's a river. Do you know what the river's called? T A G U S. T A G U S. Tagus. The River Tagus. How nice is this? And not only a river, but you've got a sandy beach next to it. Do you like the scenery? I like the scenery a lot. We could always do a picnic. Yeah, picnic down, picnic down here by the river. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Could do. Yeah, but we'll say good night and we'll speak to everyone in the morning. So we've got these we've got these pomegranates given to us, and we've not eaten them before, but we've googled it, and apparently you cut them in half. Oh, good coming out. Oh look inside of the pomegranate and then hit it really hard. You have to do that. You don't know what to hit it really hard with. Or just scoop it out with a spoon then. I think it's just the seeds you want. 
Okay, so we think pomegranates might be a really, really messy thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know if we like pomegranate, do we? <laughs> what a mess. Before we cut up any more, Stephen has now decided he doesn't like them. Do you like them? Got a hard bit in the middle. I don't think they're worth the effort. Do you? Well, no, they don't taste of anything. So, anyway, thank you to the lady that gave us the pomegranates. But, we won't be but I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna bother with them. Seems like a lot of work. For a, lo a lot of work for a lot of pips. town down some windy little cobbled streets about an inch wider than the van. I think the Romans built this road. we got ourselves to Elvis, Elvas, a little bit concerned that we wouldn't find anywhere to park but this is the parking lot. Absolutely huge and there's one other van here, looks like it's been here for a while. Check out that aqueduct. This incredible piece of engineering is actually called the Aqueduto de Amorea and it's the work of the architect Francisco de Arruda who also designed the Bellum Tower in Lisbon. The aqueduct took over 85 years to build. The construction began in 1537 but due to several delays it wasn't completed until 1620. The aqueduct is seven kilometers long and brought water to a marble fountain in central Elvis. It has 843 arches and is one of the largest aqueducts on the Iberian Peninsula. We've just pulled off uh, this little um, area at the side of the N2 and there's a lovely little park but I want to show you all these pussycats. They look really cute. Hello pussycats. You've been fighting you, haven't you? Hello Pusket. Another one up there, look. It's just full of cats. It's called Parque de Liza de Fontinova. And this is the little park in here. So nice. Nobody in the park. But what a place to stop for a picnic. Toilets are open all night, apparently. But if you park here, you're going to get one of these cats on your roof of your van. Probably this one, because he looks friendly. 
and if you need some water for your van this here is running 24 hours a day we've continued further south on the n2 road which is kind of the main drag if you're not using the toll roads we've come across this fantastic park up absolutely stunning by this reservoir there's two or three other vans here the reviews on park for night say there's a stray dog that walks around and pinches your shoes if you leave your shoes out so we won't be doing that and it's incredibly peaceful we'll have a good night here the place is actually called barrow gam the rock so i'll put uh, what three words on the screen for you but it's beautiful Motorhome, motorhome, motorhomes for as far as the eye can see.